Hello, Year 10. Uh, <coughs> this is your second lesson looking at Love's Philosophy. Your do now uh, task is on the board. So, who wrote Love's Philosophy? When was it written? Is it a typical poem within the Romantic era, era and why? What's the speaker's message? Is the woman in the poem acting like a typical Victorian woman? So, I do have that there. Um, I'm sorry, so pause the video and do that now. Okay, sorry for my vagueness there. I was just thinking, I don't have my anthology with me, so I can't tell when it was written, um, but I do have one. So, um, it was written by Percy Shelley. It was written in 1820, okay? Yes, it's a fairly typical poem of the Romantic era because it's full of nature. The speaker's message is that nature mixes together all the time, so therefore they should too, and the girl should give him a kiss. So, does the woman in the poem act like a typical Victorian woman? Well, yes, because... Um, she says no, that she's sticking to no sex or kissing before marriage kind of thing. Okay, so we are looking at developing your ability to talk about language still, and which is why we practice P course so often. So the one on the board is fairly sophisticated. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to obviously read it to you as usual, and then you're going to have a go at doing your own. Okay, so. In Love's Philosophy, Shelley effectively uses personification and natural imagery, imagery to show that the natural world around us is a romantic and loving environment and human beings should follow this example. He states that the fountains mingle with each other and the mountains kiss high heaven. Shelley's illustrating here that the natural world is in harmony with one another. Every physical being has an intimate partner. The verbs mingle and kiss create a sense of passion in the poem as both express the physical side to love and how exciting and intimate love can be. He repeats these verbs throughout the poem to emphasise how important it is to express intimacy in a relationship. This type of language is very common during the Romantic period. Shelley is expressing his feelings through nature. However, women were expected to be coy and keep their virginity until marriage, which may have frustrated their partners, particularly Percy Shelley. The modern reader may find Shelley's attempts at persuasion humorous and dramatic. However, his harmless attempts at persuading his lover for a kiss are somewhat endearing. So we like him a bit. He's a likeable character. Some readers might argue he's putting unnecessary pressure on his lover as she is obviously shy and should be allowed to make her own decisions about when she's ready to engage in the physical side of love. Shelley uses language skillfully to present the importance of expressing physical love to a partner. His romantic, slightly over-exaggerated descriptions are humorous but also difficult for his lover to refuse. Humorous, it means funny, okay? So... Again, you could just copy this one because it's in front of you, but I'd rather you didn't do that. I'd rather you had a go at writing your own. But you've got that there to check against and to improve your own work. And that is it for today. See you next time.